Yo, 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 what is up guys, Pabs here back with another video, and today I'm going to be following up on a topic I spoke about in my how to make your Rocket League run smoother um, upload, and in that video towards the end I talked about going into the files on your PC and manipulating them in a way that you can't do in the regular option menu. Um, a couple people commented saying yes, I'd like a video on that, so here it is. Um, and I'm going to talk about two things specifically. I'm going to talk about how to uncap your FPS. As you can see here on mine, it is above 250. And if you go to the regular video settings, you can only do 250. But again, I uncapped it, so I'm usually running above 300. <clears throat> uh, benefits to this are that, um you're going to have less input lag, at least that's what I was told, and that's what I believe, and I felt a difference. Um, and I'm also gonna talk about how to add extra bindings. Um, as you can see here, obviously you could only have um, one button to each binding unless you're talking about keyboard and mouse binding, but for me, I have, um, where is it? I have power slide on LB or L1, and I have it on square. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I did that. So I'm going to boom, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm assuming most of you guys have Windows 10. So what you're going to want to do is go to your file explorer and then you're going to want to go to your documents, my games, you should see Rocket League, excuse me, and you're going to click on Rocket League. You're going to click on TA game and then you're going to click on config and first we're going to talk about um, uncapping FPS and you're going to click on TA system settings and you're going to see all these settings but the one you're going to be interested in and want to change is uh, where is it where is it where is it all right here allow per frame sleep so yours is going to say equals true unless you've already changed it um but obviously mine is false and that is the only thing you have to change in order to uncap your fps on rocket league um you're going to want to save the change it to equals false save the file and you want to make the file read only for some reason i didn't have to make it read only but the guide said to make it read only, so I probably would be safe. Um, and to do that, all you gotta do is go to properties, click read only, apply. Again, I it didn't work for me, or sorry, it did work for me without making a read only. I guess you can try to do it um, without making a read only, but again, if it doesn't work, try that and it might work. Um, and again, now we're gonna talk about how to add extra bindings. And all you gotta do is go into TA input, which is on the same um, folder. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You wanna scroll down to you see gamepad bindings, and you're gonna see all these things, all these different inputs. And you wanna find the input that you want to have on a different binding. Uh, where's my power slide binding? I think it's called. It's called yeah it's called handbrake um on on this so yeah as you can see here i have two handbrakes and one for x which is square on ps4 and one for l1 which is left shoulder so if you wanted to add another jump binding or another obviously jumps dumb but another boost binding or another ball cam binding whatever you want to do you just want to copy you'd copy this line exactly and then you'd copy these lines exactly, but you would see what the input is called in this folder. So if you wanted to make another boost binding and you wanted to make it uh, D-pad right. So you see that here, you would just do this. You'd copy this and you would go to boost. I'll just do it to show you guys what it would look like. I'll copy this first. So you'd copy this boom paste that there and then you would you want to make a d-pad right so boom 
copy this and then you would put that there and I don't know I'm kind of OCD so I would space it so it's equal but it's it's really as simple as that and then now when you went into Rocket League just restart your game you would have it um, so that boost is two bindings obviously I'm not gonna do that I, I don't want that don't save <laughs> but yeah that's exactly how you do that um, again if you have any more questions or if I didn't explain something well enough please let me know but I feel like if you just copy exactly what I said um, should be good um, and yeah let me know how it works for you guys I appreciate you watching um, drop a like and sub if I helped you and I'll see y'all in the next one Peace.